for my first ever video vlog or vlog and today I'm going to show you how to make a healthier and way cheaper alternative to those pumpkin spice lattes we all love um, and if you're not a fan of pumpkin um, that's okay <laughs> you don't have to be you can um, take this technique and do whatever flavor um, you would like you can take it and run with it you, uh, you have so many options I'm going to show you um, how to how to do it. So here we go. You're going to need a mason jar, any size, um, as long as it can fit in the microwave. You're going to need a microwave. You're going to need vanilla, and this is for the, the next few ingredients are for the pumpkin spice. Maple syrup, I don't really eat refined sugar. I try to do more of a natural approach, and I usually don't really like sugar on my coffee anyway, so I will be adding less but you can always add more because um, I like my coffee black usually. Um, but I do like to treat myself in the fall to a pumpkin spice. So I will sweeten it a little bit. You are going to need pureed pumpkin in a can. And if you're really um, a go-getter, you could make your own pumpkin puree. But I'm going to stick with the can. It's a little bit easier. Um, you're going to need milk. I use almond. You can use any milk that you prefer. Uh, one thing to note is almond milk does not froth as much as regular milk, but it, that's okay. It still will froth a little. Um, it's just your personal preference and choice. And of course, you're going to need coffee, which I freshly brewed, and oh, pumpkin spice flavoring. I made this. It was super easy, and I'll put the recipe uh, it in the blog for um, later. But it, it was only a couple ingredients, and I just mixed it myself. And you could save it for when um, pumpkin pie season and Thanksgiving and all those yummy um, pumpkin recipes. All right, so here we go. So first you're going to put the milk in the mason jar, about three-quarter cup. I'm running out of time. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I have about half a cup. Um, but it really only matters how much milk you like in your coffee. Do you like it black? Do you like it light? Totally up to you. Then you're going to add some vanilla. I'm just adding a dash or half a teaspoon if you want to um, get the exact. And then I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of pumpkin. Again, this recipe you can take and make your own. You can add as much pumpkin or as little pumpkin as you want. And then I'm going to add some pumpkin pie seasoning. I'm just going to dibble it on. There we go. And the maple syrup. I'm using pure maple syrup. But you can use anything you want. Sugar, brown sugar, uh, honey, stevia. Totally up to you. You don't have to add anything at all. So I'm going to add, I'm going to add about a tablespoon. Now here's the fun part, and you get a little arm workout in too, which I always love. You're going to shake it. So you're going to shake it for about 30 to 60 seconds before we put it in the microwave. So I'm going to shake. Make sure the cap's on. <laughs> so we're going to shake it, and then we're going to take the cap off before we put it in the microwave, otherwise there'll be sparks flying. <laughs> and not the good kind. Whoop. All right, now I'm going to take the cap up and put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. And while I have that in there, I'm going to pour myself a cup of coffee. I'm going to pour about halfway. There we go. Or if you'd be curious, just, you know, brew yourself a cup of coffee. Right. So while we do that, it's almost done. I shortened it a bit so we wouldn't have to sit there and wait the whole video. Um, but when you do have that in there, you will notice that it does froth at the top. So you're just going to want to pour it in and then just scoop the foam out and put it on top. Now, I will tell you this, that 
the foam will dissipate. Um, so you're going to want to drink it pretty quickly if you want that foamy texture look. But I think it's great because we save money on the ingredients um, with everything. You buy coffee and your sweetener and the pumpkin. And a lot of this you probably just have lying around. You're not going to spend $5 for this. If anything, you're going to spend $5 for the couple ingredients that will make cups and cups and cups of coffee to last you till Christmas. Um, because I don't buy coffee unless it's on sale. And just like anything, I really don't buy it unless it's on sale. Um, so I thought this was a great alternative to um, a great yummy fall drink. And like I said, if you don't like pumpkin or you don't like pumpkin spice, that's okay. You can, you know, make this your own. And I would love to hear your ideas. Uh, you can make any kind of latte. So um, that is that. And I hope you enjoy your pumpkin spice latte or however you drink your coffee. And have a great day.